he looked at me and he said, oh my, weren't you clever? You were so on top of yourself, weren't you, Nancy? And that sent me into just like sobbing tears in the dressing room. He caught me, you know. I went to Stratford, worked with Robin Phillips, mainly on Shakespeare and, and the classics. I met all my pals, many, many pals, we, that ended up becoming Soul Pepper. We were all there at, in the summer of 87 with Robin at, um, at Stratford. And we worked on the, my show that changed my life was, I'm, I'm calling it As You Like It. We all uh, were mentored by Robin. And as far as I'm concerned, everyone needs a champion. And, and lucky we are when we get a mentor who is a champion. The champion can, can be anybody who can help you along in your, in your career a little bit, which, you know, I, I had many champions and I'm so grateful to them all. And I was so excited about working with Rob and, and going to Stratford and having these wonderful parts because I was playing Rosalind in As You Like It and the nurse in Romeo and Juliet. It was at the end of what we called our part one, when she is basically teaching Orlando what it is to love. She's, she's very much um, in control. She's driving the scene. And I was at a good pace and the audience was responding and I was feeling pretty chuffed <laughs> with myself. I think I got a, a round at the end of act one, you know, oh, that's the way it should be, you know. I came backstage very kind of pleased. And he was just sitting in the green room, just having been listening to the whole, the whole last part of it. He might've been listening for the whole act. He did that a lot. And he, he looked at me and I, I knew even from his eyes that something was up and he said, oh my, weren't you clever? You were so on top of yourself, weren't you, Nancy? You, you know, Rosalind wasn't, vulnerable at all. She had all the answers. She had it all. So you were very clever. And that sent me into just like sobbing tears in the dressing room. He caught me, you know, as I always imagine, even to this day, I always think, you know, what, the people who know you best, who is, you know, at that time, Robin was the one who, who I considered the mentor, you know, he was, he knew that I was just cheapening the whole damn thing. So I went off, okay, for the second act and was completely vulnerable. And, uh, and that was what he was after. All I can say is, boy, did I learn a lot from him. And my, I might have, I might have, my feelings might have been hurt many times, but I would rather to have learned from him and had my feelings hurt than for him to be nice, that was wonderful, that was great, that was fine all the time. He uh, directed both of our first productions at Soul Pepper. And during that time, he had, we would start at noon, if I've got this right, we would start at noon and before noon, he was doing a whole huge round table of mentoring um, young people. He was always about education and mentorship, uh, right from the, right from the beginning. I actually think directing is sort of teaching or mentoring or coaching. It, yes, it was complicated at times and emotionally really volatile. And yet there was laughter, more laughter than I can remember. I would have to say that Robin was, was a mentor and a champion. If I were to actually think about it, there would be a long list of things that he can, the specific things that really helped me and, and sort of helped me find my own taste.